can never remember which side of the truck I'm supposed to be on. So it's our second day after Cape Buffalo. Yesterday was a bit of a tough day. We never did catch up to the big group. So we're gonna get a really early morning start this morning and hopefully catch up to them. take a practice shot today we're getting ready to go out and see if we can't get on these buffalo yesterday was a little tough so hopefully today's gonna be the day we're gonna take a practice shot and then we're gonna get going Take one more. That'll do. What is that? Okay, so we have just found buffalo not far ahead. Um, we need to get the wind right, so we're now coming in from the downwind side. Um, Ryan's got the big gun behind us in case something goes wrong, but we're going to try to get a, up and get a good stalk on these. We keep making our approach even with good wind and we just keep bumping this herd a little bit further and further so we have identified there's one that looks like it's got a maybe an injured leg and it's lagging behind so eventually we're hoping that they'll get tired and that one maybe lay down or we'll be able to make a good approach. Good. What do you think? Good. That was good, and the arrow yeah. was sticking out like this far. And Here, let's get rid of this. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> what? So they they uh, similar to a bear. They they bellow when they're. You you don't always hear it. It's not something that uh, you continuously yeah. hear. But it's what every every hunter uh, 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 strives for in in Africa. When you hear that, the, the, the buffalo is in its last sort of moments of life, so to speak. Well, they went this way, and now we're hearing that. It sounds to be like over this way. So, yeah. fortunately, it's nice and in the open. So I'm hoping that we get it in the open. Yeah. Nice the shot felt, the shot felt good. The shot yeah. seemed to look good, but Man, you know how that goes. It's always a crapshoot. When you think it's good, and then you find out it's not, but. Well, there's your answer. I mean, the fact that it definitely <laughs> means that it was a good Yeah. Thing. But that arrow just absolutely just disappeared in there. And uh, yeah. we that never was... sat much of the arrow sticking out the other yeah. side. And it was just 
you can see the sun shining off it. I mean, and, and she's a she's a as well. nice old cow. I mean, she wasn't a slacker as far as the size goes on the as far as cows go. So I knew that there was going to be you know we were going to have to beef up the arrow and and try to get good penetration. It seemed to work. So I guess for now we maybe go see. Off. <laughs> did yeah, a lot of practice. I thought you were going to get revved. A lot of practice. Earlier, so. Yeah, a couple of close encounters, but now maybe we can. Uh, See if we can catch up to her. Yeah. Man. Let's give her a few more minutes. I mean, it's been probably, what, about 10 minutes mm -hmm. or 10 so. minutes. And we've heard a death bellow, so I'm sure she's up there. We're good? Well done, my friend. Oh my gosh, it's so much bigger than I had expected. Yeah. Oh, what a great, nice cow, nice old cow. She's old, eh? Old, old. And I'm super stoked with my shot placement. Whew. That 85 pound bow is as much as I wanted to do. So I was a little concerned about the shot placement, but. Perfect. Could. If you have a look at the shot placement. I mean, obviously her leg is going to be, when she's got weights on it, She's going to be right up here. I would reckon that she probably hit the top of the heart. The heart will lie in here. Probably just a bit bigger than my hand. And all those major arteries there. You couldn't ask for a better shot. You know, if you were one inch lower, you'd still be safe. You've got, there's the edge of the bone. So you've got an inch forward and you've got an inch back and you've got probably about three or four inches on top there. See that nice? Single bevel. Pretty single bevel cut. So we, when we get the buffalo up, we'll look. The single bevel on this side is at a 45 degree to her back. We'll see what it is on the other side. You do, you know, this would be a good time for you to explain the whole, look at the groin area and come forward. All right. So just to show you, obviously it's a lot more difficult now that the buffalo is off her feet. But when she's got weight on here, this line here is the groin area and this is what uh, I use as a horizontal reference. If you take this line parallel to the stomach and you take it up here, that will always be the top of your heart, the top third of your heart. This is a perfect shot, it's right through the vena cava and uh, your, your arteries there that come in, your aorta. Perfect shot there. Um, I always say to people, if the animal's standing away from you or it's quartering towards, well, quartering towards is probably not a good idea, but quartering away, you always want to aim for the middle of the far leg. Remember, we're aiming for the exit. So uh, this is definitely the best line on just about any animal as a horizontal. That gives you your safe bet. And then, like I say, I normally shoot for the middle of the far leg. You're really, you're really familiar with our North American animals. How do the African animals, as far as their vitals, differ from, say, a white-tailed deer or an elk? I don't think the vitals are actually that different. I just think that African animals are much harder to kill than, than say, a white-tail than North American animals. I think just the fact that Africa is a very harsh environment to live in. And, um, you know, there's so many predators here, they have to be tough. I mean, you'll know from experience, wildebeest don't die easy. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know, sable's another one that can, they, they can eat up arrows, you know. And uh, I just think that North American animals, I think a lot of people liver shoot a lot of deer and they bleed out quickly. African animals will also bleed out quickly, but uh, they seem to live a yeah. Lot longer than, yeah. <laughs> well, we always hear that the vitals are further forward on your African game. Is th yeah. that is that just a myth? I I don't. I, it is probably true to degree, but I don't believe that's. I mean, if you shoot a, a white tail in this position, it's going to die. Still the vital V, right? Yeah, it's still the vital V. And I mean, you hear these guys on television. They talk about this. He has the vital V. You, if if I push this, you can see there's the V. He has the joint. And he has this thick, this is a big thick bone so that this, comes in here. Right so this here. Is, this is, 
I mean, it's an eight ring on a on a target. You know, it's a it's a nice big target if you can send a punch it. And you look here, look look at where this vital V is. I mean, your shot's plumb center. That's perfect. I mean, yeah. And that's what we want to do. You know, for those of us that hunt buffalo professionally, we like to hear the we like to hear the death bellow. Ryan, I can't thank you enough, man. This has been one heck of a trip. We're not done yet. We no, still got done. more some more skin to put in the salt, but this has been, this will be the highlight of the trip. So I just want to thank you. I appreciate guys that can shoot nice and straight as well. <laughs> I think uh, it's- it Makes your job easier. You did a good job here. I mean, proof is in the pudding. That was a quick ending. I don't think that animal went down. In 10 minutes, we heard the, the death bellow. So well done. Thank you.